said, over 10 years in development, the car is finally here. It turns out some of the heads of GM marketing know my bosses, which is pretty fantastic. So I got a little bit of exclusive access and some cool shots. And I got to walk around on the pad, which is pretty stellar. The car looks and feels a lot different in person. I wasn't expecting it to feel so wide and so low when it doesn't look quite that proportionate in the photos, in the videos thus far. But it is absolutely stunning. It is everything I would have thought times a thousand. <sighs> we are sitting in the convertible Corvette. This is unbelievable. The seats, I believe these are the GT2 seats, are great. They're actually really supportive, but they're not crazy, crazy, crazy stiff or uh, unpadded. The square steering wheel is so cool. It, I, I love it. This, which looks massive in photos, isn't massive. And I feel like it is the perfect center console to rest one hand while you're driving and just have one hand on the wheel while you're cruising. This feels surprisingly similar to a C7. Um, and I know a lot of people probably won't agree with me on it, but it, I don't know, everything about it feels very familiar from those who have spent a good bit of time. Um, it just feels like the next variation. It doesn't feel like a mid-engine or like anything is that different. Um, but again, that's just my two cents. Um, do love the kind of waterfall effect on the Climate controls do love that the passenger kind of doesn't get absolutely anything. Uh, they don't really need anything anyways, because they're just they're just lucky to go along for the ride. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. This is really, really cool. Really special. Really glad I got to sit in it. I really like the metal trims and some of the, the finishes on the on the dash. And I don't know, everything about it just feels pretty wicked. Very special. Very cool. Car. See new faces and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget. <laughs> Lock it up. 